uh, right now, I think a lot of people are looking for hope in, you know, whatever, whether it's science or politics. Boy, to me, that's just hopeless. Um, but <laughs> you might find a lot of hope. In, maybe you think, if only my party wins, if only my, um, if technology does this, or, and I'm just like, no, um, I don't have to be hopeful about those things because my hope is in the promises of God and what he has already accomplished. Um, so are Christians pessimists about this world or optimists about this world? And I would say neither. We look at this world, we see how broken it is. We don't expect it to fix itself, but we don't abandon it. We don't like try to huddle up and kind of like say, oh, I'm just going to take care of myself. No. Because we know a God who chose to be broken for this world in Jesus Christ, and who gave us all to love this world and to redeem this world. And so when bad news happens, we're not like shocked and dismayed. We just trust in God all the more. And I don't have to fret and worry that the world is right now falling apart. This might be the first time in my lifetime that it's like, oh my goodness, everything's just falling apart. Well, it's not the first time in the last 2,000 years that the world thought the world was falling apart. And about the year 1,000 it was, and about 1,500 again with the plagues in Europe. Um, we've had wars, and uh, you know, I'm not saying it's not it, it's wonderful and looks sunny side of life type stuff, but I'm saying it's happened before, and you can look back at those times, and you could still, in the midst of this difficulty, still have joy and peace because of faith. And trusting in a God who keeps his promises in the midst of difficult times. So I don't have to like be all serious all the time. As if the weight of the world is on my shoulders. Because it's not. It was carried by Jesus Christ once and for all. And so that's why Martin Luther, who lived about 500 years ago, the start of the Reformation, said it this way. You have as much laughter as you have faith. So it's not a sign of being serious. And so it's actually, I can let, you know, I can look at this stuff and say, God is greater than. God has promised. God is keeping his promises. Nothing has changed. Jesus Christ has established that nothing can separate me from the love of God in Jesus Christ. And I can name promise after promise of God and my faith itself being empty but is filled my hand is filled with the promises of God and his goodness and his character. And I know that for sure through Jesus Christ. So faith can be in dark times. Your hope, because it's in God. Your joy, because it's found in Christ. And your comfort, because the Holy Spirit is involved in your life.